Okay, so uh, these are the use cases that we use. So now what we propose is we are, have provided you with a deck to explain or to guide you step by step to the process of optimizing Pi that you have seen in the live demo. So essentially, we are suggesting that you produce an open ACC and an open MP versions for GPU and that you build it and run it on Perlmutter with a problem size that is big enough to see some seconds of execution. Essentially, the Pi example, if we go back to the one of the first slides we presented one hour ago, is addressing one of the challenges, that is, see how we can use Kodi to identify opportunities in the code, essentially loops, that can be offloaded to the GPU so that the code runs correctly and faster on the GPU. Okay? You have also seen the code. This is the source code, a simple example to illustrate this use case. You have also seen use cases one and two, how to produce the report, number one, and how to use the actions report to actually annotate your code with directives and benchmark that code on Kodi, oh, sorry, on Perlmutter. And here we also provide you in the deck with all the steps you need to do. So please copy the lab example, the, the example codes in your home account, home directory, enter into the directory about the P lab and follow these steps. You just need to copy and paste the commands you will see in this terminal and you should be able to reproduce the same output that you are seeing in the screen. So we suggest that you start with the PW report with the entry level, higher level uh, report. And note, multi-threading and offloading are disabled by default. This has a usability reason. We have seen users trying to use Kodi on their own laptops, for instance, trying to exploit offloading capabilities, but not being aware of how this operating system and the computer needs to be set up with a GCC or a, a Clang compiler that is a, that supports OpenMP or OpenACC offloading capabilities. So without being aware of this, they blamed on Kodi not working properly. But in reality, Kodi was working properly, but the setup of the computer was not correctly uh, set for the type of capabilities the user wanted to explore. So in order to help the user, the programmer, to be aware, to be conscious of what needs to be prepared in the, applic in the system to use different types of capabilities, we decided to disable multi threading or offloading. So you need to explicitly enable rep uh, those reporting capabilities in Kodi. And how can you do that? With the include tax flag in PW report. Okay, this is a way of filtering the output of the actions reported by the tool. Here we are requesting, please report all, all the actions, everything you find in my code. Step number three is increase the level of reporting. Oops, sorry. Where you will see this level of complexity. In real code, you can have tens or hundreds of loops. So what you really want to start is with low hanging fruit. You want to start with the hottest loops that consume most of the runtime, the hottest spots, and from those loops can be one or can be 10 loops. You want to start with those that have a low complexity in terms of performance optimization. And wait or defer to later using or addressing those that have a high complexity. During the labs today and tomorrow, we can uh, provide you more details of how low, medium, or high difficulty is actually determined by Kodi. But this is not the purpose of this first lab. Next step, produce the actions report, increase the level of reporting to see all the details about a particular action, copy and paste the suggested commands to produce GPU-enabled code using OpenMP, GPU-enabled code using OpenACC, and finally, in the labs, we also provide you the scripts, how to launch and how to build and run the different, the sequential version, as well as the optimized versions that you have produced in previous steps. And here we are provide you with default reservation. Kodi day one is the default reservation for today. But please uh, check, double check the 
welcome slide from presented by Helen, because maybe you need to use additional flags to the reservation. You also need to use the end train to uh, group for the reservation. So please double check in the, in the launch script that you are using the appropriate uh, options to use the nodes reserved for the training today and tomorrow. And finally, you also have some additional tips or remarks. Remember to low code, don't forget that. Remember, dash dash help is your friend in any command line tool provided by Kodi. Remember, all the inspection code, all the work you do, you don't need to do it on the compute nodes. Kodi is available and the compilers are available on the login nodes. You don't need to measure performance. You are working on the code and you need to guarantee that it runs first correctly and second faster. And final uh, remark, don't forget to take a look at the Kodi.com knowledge database. It's public, it's open, it is intended to, provide, intended to provide you with the knowledge that the experts have in mind when they are optimizing their own codes so that you can learn from the experts or you can even, being an expert, recycle yourself and learn more in other areas of expertise that you have not addressed in your career for some reason. So, um, yeah, check out the nurse welcome slides, the readme in the an exercise directory and just uh, do the lab two right now. So you can do PW, all these commands and do everything on the command line. And then at the end, after you generate the OpenMP and OpenACC code, sbatch um, that launch.sh script so that it'll launch your compile and run on the compute, on the GPU compute nodes. Also, we'll be using the reservation. It's already added, included in the launch script. So once you copy over the exercise from the global CFS directory, and, and the best way to do this is also follow the slide two deck. It has step-by-step um, uh, -step examples and command lines uh, on multiple slides. So follow those, it'll be very uh, helpful.